when this waterfront was built, they set an elevation and it had worked out fine for over 100 years. Sea level rise has gone up about eight inches in that 100 years. Now we're talking about 66 inches over 100 years. And that potentially, that rate potentially staying the same. And so it's almost like you have to rethink how you're gonna live on the waterfront. Building permanent structures on waterfronts that are expected to remain functional for long periods of time without any type of adaptation, it's just not gonna be possible. I think human nature, we have a, an amazing ability to discount future risks. We have an opportunity here to kind of get in front of the earthquake and to certainly get in front of sea level rise, which is more of a longer term issue to deal with, but you know, it's not that long term. You know, with some of the predictions as high as 66 inches or more by 2100, and you think about how long it's going to take to prepare the waterfront for sea level rise, we don't have that much time to design and plan and design and start to implement improvements. Communities around the bay are, are incredibly vulnerable to sea level rise, where the entire area of the community you know, will go underwater. So all that infrastructure is, is at risk and will need to be adapted over the next 50 years.